Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday. It's another beautiful day out here on our back deck. Uh, sun is shining, as you can see, and a little bit of a breeze going. So uh, get out and enjoy the day if you can. Uh, not too many of days of these, like these left. I think it's supposed to be nice for the weekend, and then uh, and then November weather really hits. So uh, yeah, get out and enjoy this day and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday too. Um, so check in time, how are you all doing? Pray that you continue to be safe and healthy and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here, so cheers, church. Uh, yeah, tastes pretty good. Our uh, devotion for today comes from Christ in Our Home, written by Bethany Ringdahl from St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, where she says she lives with her sweet husband and a sweet baby. She is the mission developer of Hostel for, Hostel for Seeking Souls, a new church for people who are eager to improve our country's immigration system, and they are praying about providing short-term housing for asylum seekers. And our scripture reading for today is Psalm 70, and she says verses 1, 2, and 3, but there's only five, so I'm going to read all five. This is a prayer for deliverance from enemies. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great, but I am poor and needy. Hasten to help me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Psalm 70, that is our psalm for this Sunday as well, which we'll be using for our call to worship. So the devotion is titled, um, Praying with Emotional Honesty. And the theme verse is verse 1. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. One thing I appreciate, I'm sorry, <laughs> we'll try that again. One thing I appreciate about the Psalms is their emotional honesty. I know that wishing harm on others doesn't reflect God's heart of love. Sometimes though, I need to pour out my true feelings, anger and all before God. I can imagine God's compassionate response to, to my intemperate out, outbursts. Quote, oh honey, it sounds like you are hurting. And then, once God has listened to me complain for a while, I sometimes start to feel a little opening in my heart. You can, hear, can you hear the train whistle in the background? There it is. <laughs> As the heat of anger dissipates in the sea of God's love, it becomes possible for me to remember that God loves others too, including those others who have made me so mad. My prayers start to shift as I ask God to make it possible for me to follow Jesus' challenging wisdom to love my enemies and pray for those who persecute me. That's in Matthew 5, verse 44. When a prayer on behalf of an enemy comes, I know it is a gift from the Holy Spirit. God is delivering me in more ways than one. Honesty in prayer. I don't know about your prayer life, but mine can be similar to Bethany's. I can get angry and frustrated and pour that out to God. But I've never imagined God's response to be, oh honey, it sounds like you're hurting. Maybe I'll start though, right? And eventually, I do hear Jesus' call to love my enemies and pray for those who hurt me, pray for those who hurt others. There's, those are not easy prayers to pray. But with the Spirit's help, I can get them out, and you can get them out too. They may only be 51% genuine, uh, but the Spirit can provide the other 49%. That's what we count on. Uh, yeah, so pray with honesty, and then listen as God um, says to you, uh, so, honey, oh, beloved one, it sounds like you're hurting. As God listens and understands, and then brings us to a point of prayer where we can pray, for our enemies and, and most of the time mean it, right? 
Be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Like I said, get outside and enjoy this weather before it goes away until April. <laughs> Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Uh, wash your hands and wear your masks. Keep at least phys uh, six feet of physical distance between you and others. And stay home as much as possible. As the body of Christ in this world, we share the light of Christ and love our neighbors as ourselves. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, help us pray honestly, but also with empathy for those with whom we struggle. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow for, for another fun T-Shirt Friday devotional.